Hey everyone, this is Nick. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can share your GrooveFunnel websites to another account. Or in other platforms, you call this sharing a funnel or something like that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of this in Groove because it's a little different than other platforms. So what you need to do is uh, log into your account, obviously, and that's what I have here. Now, if I were to share this with somebody, they would need to have an account. So I'm just gonna open a second account up right here, which you can see on the right hand side. And uh, this is the uh, website or the funnel that I wanna share, right? So all I have to do is go to this code editor section. And this is all the code that makes up my website. So if I were wanting to transfer this over to another account, all I would have to do is uh, go to that page or give somebody this code so they could post it to their account. So uh, let's go to the second GrooveFunnels page and then I'll head over to just any site, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit Control A and highlight all the code and then Control C and copy all the code. Now I'm going to the code editor on the second website and then I am going to paste all the code over everything. So you need to highlight all the existing code and then paste this code over it and then hit save. And that's it. You have successfully transferred over your funnel or your page to this website. So really easy to do. Um, I actually have a link if you want to join Groove for free right now. I'll put it on the screen or I'll put it in the description of this video. Now if you want to give this information to somebody so they can do it, you can always just copy and paste this inf this text right here, put it in a notepad, or just paste it to somebody, send it through email. Or if you want, the other thing you can do is go to the top right hand corner of your screen and then hit export site. And what that will do is download a version of your site. So in that folder will be a document called index. And if you were to open that up in any code editor, you'll see that I have all this same text. So same thing, you would just copy that and then go to the code editor and then uh, replace everything in there just like we did before. Same thing. So you can easily just copy that from that source code from website or account to account or you can export the site and hand off the files to somebody else so they can go through this process as well. Uh, give me a like if you found that helpful, I'm sure you did because for me it was very helpful. Subscribe to my channel, let me know that you subscribed and I will welcome you to the channel in the comments below. Take care.